everybody, I'm the Happy Cabby, and I also run a channel called The Healthy Channel, and I am a vegan. Now, I'm a, a subscriber to a channel by the name of Kangaroo Elaine. She posted a video talking about two videos, uh, one done by the amazing atheist who was doing a response video to a homosexual right, Onision. And his video was talking about murder eaters. Now, he, of course, was talking about veganism. And there's a link right over here and also in the sidebar. Unlike uh, Kangaroo Lane, who I'm a big fan of, by the way, and I do hope that everybody goes checks out her channel, uh, Onision, in my opinion, uh, his video does not promote veganism. Uh, his video, unfortunately, in my opinion, promotes... You know, basically, you know, a, a dislike of meat eaters, which, of course, he's more than welcome to do. However, if you were to watch this video as a meat eater, there is nothing that will convince you to become a vegan by watching this video. Now, for example, you may look, now, why in the world is a big fat guy with big sucking and man titties uh, talking about veganism? Well, the reason is, is because I used to be much, much bigger and I've lost 50 pounds, I'm doing it through exercise, and I'm also doing it by cutting meat out of my diet. Now let's just go ahead point by point and analyze the video. Now of course I'm not going to use any content from the video, you can watch the video right over there, but let's go ahead and analyze the points that the Onision made. <clears throat> he was talking about how friends of his, family members of him, uh, and also comments that he's probably gotten on some of his other videos were about vegan or vegetarian hatred. Now, for example, I've, I've posted videos in the past about uh, veganism and stuff like that. And I can tell you that if you post a video about veganism, uh, you'll get a whole bunch of hate. And for example, the video I posted two days ago, uh, which was uh, Subs for Ronzo, uh, which was... Just, I mean, the purpose of the video was simply to, you know, cast my spotlight upon my friend Ronzo, who has been a big help to me. And I just wanted to give his channel a plug. That was the point of the video. But go through the video. There is tons and tons of comments about how evil meat is, for example, or how uh, hypocritical veganism is. I mean, it just turned into a big, nasty, nasty and ugly debate. And that wasn't even the purpose of the video. It was like a two-minute video saying, hey, go check out Ronzo the Clown. That was the purpose of the video. <clears throat> now, the next point that the Onision was bringing up was about the meat industry. Now, when we're talking about the meat industry, most vegans are talking about factory farming. We're not talking about, uh, for example, my grandfather who uh, had a small ranch on 50 acres. He had some chickens, eight cows, and twice a year he'd take a couple of cows up to the slaughterhouse. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about factory farming where basically the animals for their entire life are kept up in cages where they don't even have enough room to move around. Now, I of course am an animal lover. And in my opinion, I think that number one, animals should be allowed to turn around, they should be able to lie down, they should be able to do this, do that. And furthermore, they should be able to, if they want, go outside and eat some grass. But they spend their entire lives in cages, and if you want to watch some more stuff on it, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do a search for, like Tyson Chicken. A whole bunch of cool, not cool, but uh, not wonderful, I mean, you'll, you'll be educated if you just do a search for, like, Tyson Chicken, for example and the horrible conditions that the chickens live in. Uh, however, does that mean that meat eaters are bad people because they support factory farming? Number one, the most important thing is, is I don't think a lot of people correlate meat eating with factory farming. And that is the reason why uh, videos about veganism and also about factory farming and the meat industry need to be posted on YouTube. Not to say that you're a meat eater and therefore you're a murderer, you're a bad person. No. What you need to do is just simply say, hey listen, this is what happens when you support factory farming. Show people the videos and change their mind. 
but not calling them names. Do not calling them murderers. <sighs> okay, now the next point is, is he was talking about some of the comments that because humans can eat meat, they should. For example, uh, you got these sharp little teeth right over here. Uh, and then, of course, we are physically capable of processing meat in our bodies. Now, in my opinion, not as well as we are processing, for example, a lot of uh, grains, a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables, stuff like that. If you uh, cut out meat entirely or at least reduce your daily income of meat, your digestion system will be so much better than what it is under the current typical American diet. And the current typical American diet produced this big body, actually much bigger, about right here. Veganism brought this to this. Six months, check back later, I should be a lot smaller. And, of course, hopefully these succulent man titties be smaller as well. <clears throat> he then brings up an, this, in, in my, I cannot believe that he did this. And once again, I don't mean to sound critical, but... The purpose of the video should have been to convince people to try veganism, which I'm going to do at the end of this video if you want to continue watching. He said, because we are capable of making a fist, does that mean that we should? Should we just punch somebody just because we can? And he correlates that with our ability to eat meat. We, because we can eat meat, does that mean that we should eat meat? Well... We can do a lot of things that we can do that we really shouldn't. And if you don't believe me, uh, just search fail on the internet and you'll find a whole bunch of people who tried to do something and failed miserably at it. Furthermore, there are other things that I can do with this hand. For example, I can take this finger over here, I can take this finger over here, I can take this finger over here, and I can leave two wonderful fingers right here and that's all I'm going to do. <coughs> He then, unfortunately, goes into some more name-calling, referring to meat-eaters as fucking idiots. And, of course, he bleeped out the word fucking. I'm not going to bleep out the word fucking. Because it's you're not going to convince anybody by calling someone names. For example, if you do not subscribe to the Happy Cabby, you're a fucking idiot! Now, how does that make you feel? doesn't make you feel very good. You want to persuade people to your side, not calling them names just because they disagree with you. Now, the next point that he brings up is copying someone else's video illegal. Now, for example, uh, there's a pilot program on YouTube where certain partners are able to enable downloads of their videos. Hopefully, there's a button right there that says download. You are more than welcome to download this video and do whatever you want to with it. You can repost it to your own channel. You can edit it for the purpose of commentary criticism for a video response, for example, if you wanted to. However, YouTube's Terms of Service, Section 5, says do not copy. You're not allowed to copy videos according to the Terms of Service. You are correct on that point. However, in the copyright law, there is something called fair use. And you are allowed, in some circumstances, to use content from other content creators for the purpose of commentary and criticism. And the, Amer and the Amazing Atheist use of your work falls under fair use. You can file a DMCA claim against this video if you want, but in my opinion, he should be able to file a counterclaim and have the video restored. So I do encourage you, do not file a DMCA claim because it was a fair use of your video. Now... This next point is meat-eating cannibalism. <clears throat> he brings up a point that because uh, one of the very first, if not the first, one of the very first heart transplants came from a pig, therefore eating pigs is, I guess, similar to cannibalism. Am I making any sense out of what you're trying to bring about? Um, he then also talks about where do you draw the line. Because do remember that the animals in America, we primarily eat cows, chicken, fish, and pigs. Uh, in other countries, they eat cats and dogs, and sometimes people eat bunny rabbits. My grandfather ate squirrels. You, in, in most slaughterhouses in America, you slit the throat. It's a very painful process. 
<clears throat> now, of course, in some modern slaughterhouses, they actually shock the, uh, the animal before it's put down. But nevertheless, that's still painful. Is there a difference between eating humans, which is a living, breathing be being capable of feeling pain, and eating an animal? Well, uh, the thing is, is animals eat each other. It's called being on top of the food chain. Now, I am a vegan. In my opinion, being a vegan is the healthiest thing for you. However, it is called the food chain. We are on top of the food chain. <clears throat> Not always are we on top of the food chain. For example, if you go out into the jungle and you run into a bear and you're between the bear and her cubs, she might kill you. Uh, or if you run into a tiger, the tiger might eat you. Sharks will sometimes eat humans. So sometimes we are part of the food chain in that other animals eat us. Now, is cannibalism always wrong? And I, gotta, uh, I, gotta, I don't normally like the Amazing Atheist. I don't have anything against him personally. I just kind of think he just, you know, comes off as arrogant. But, you know, <laughs> he is fun to watch. I'll, I'll grant you that. However, he does bring up a good point. There are some tribes, like out in the middle of nowhere, that nobody's ever heard of, where they basically cannibalize the dead. It saves a lot of expense on burials. For example, it, when my mother passed away, it cost $10,000 to bury her, and all there was was some guy with a shovel, a coffin, and the embalming procedure. Uh, no frills whatsoever on the funeral. $10,000. Took a lot to get that one paid off. Then, there is also a case that he brought up in Germany where somebody tried to go what's called consensual cannibalism. Now, is consensual cannibalism wrong? Well, I personally think it is. You're just not supposed to eat other people. But that's because I'm basing that on my Western civilizations. However... Uh, let's say, for example, that I wanted to uh, snack on Spike Bravo, who is currently eating here. <clears throat> and if I were to, uh, for example, walk up to Spike Bravo... Eat me. What did you say? Eat me. Eat you? I just happen to have a fork and a knife right here. I want to point this out. Spike Bravo is living here. It scares the smurf out of me that he just happens to have a book on cannibalism. He might as well have a recipe on how to cook a happy cabbie. He has a book on cannibalism. Shocking True Tales of the Last Taboo on Land and at Sea by Joseph S. Cummins. Get it at Amazon.com. <sighs> that man, that guy screwed up. Okay. Is meat murder? Brings that point up again in Onison's video. Onision, I'm sorry. Is meat murder? Murder, there's a difference between killing and murder. For example, if I were to drive a car and I were to hit somebody on the road, that is killing. That is uh, accidental, that is stuff like that. Murder is basically where I said, listen, Spike Bravo has a book on cannibalism. I'm going to kill him before he kills me. That is what murder is. Now, when you're killing the, in America, the cows, the sheep, the chicken, of course it is premeditated. These animals are bred for human consumption. However, <clears throat> there is a difference, just like between, there's a difference between the, uh, the plants and the, uh, the grass and the trees and the animals. There's also a difference between the animals and the humans. And this here is the difference. We know restraint. For example, if uh, take a uh, let's take a let's take a meat eating animal. Uh, a cat, for example, is a meat eating animal. It'll eat other smaller animals. If there was a cat, which by the way there are, for remember the tiger example, that was capable of eating a human, it would, if there was no other food available. For example, we do not run as fast as they do. There's obviously a lot of meat on me. I will make a very tasty snack for a hungry tiger. It is called being part of the food chain. 
Now, there's a difference between being part of the food chain, which is what we are. Not only are we on top of the food chain, but occasionally, as I said earlier, we are part of the food chain in that other animals eat us. But again, let me state that I am a vegan, and I think you would all be better off if, if not becoming vegan, reducing your meat intake. For example, the typical American diet, <clears throat> you know, the main course is, especially at dinner time, it's meat. Cut back on that. Maybe to like six ounces uh, during, the, during, the, during the day, you know, and try and have a light dinner, something that's not too heavy. You'll be amazed at the weight loss that your body will have. I don't expect everybody to become vegan just because the happy cabbie said so. However, let me go ahead and try to do what Onision should have done. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, my throat's a little bit dirty. Uh, I'm going to post a link to an article. This is going to surprise you. There was a, a meat packing plant that tried to implement a policy for 100% inspection of their meats. Whereas, of course, the industry standard is a small sampling is tested. And if the small sampling is tested, then, of course, it's loaded on the truck, sent out to the stores. This company said, listen, we're a small operation. We can do 100% testing. Guess what the large meat packing plants did? They actually sued, and the, and the government told them, you cannot test 100%. You have to do sampling like everybody else. Even though they were capable of doing the 100% testing of the meats, they cannot do it. The courts told them no. Now that is a good evidence of why you should cut down on meat consumption just for that reason alone. Of course, the other reason is all the fats that are in the, uh, the meat. Um, then, of course, there's also the fact that uh, meat, by definition, is decaying uh, mammal flesh. If you leave it out for too long, if it's not properly refrigerated, it could go bad. It, you could get, like, salmonella, stuff like that. All sorts of wonderful, fun little diseases that you could get <clears throat> by eating meat. So these, this is the type of information that needs to get out there. For example, there are many people who probably had no idea of that court case against that meat packing plant. But you're going to check the link because you saw this video. That is what the Onison, Onision, I'm sorry, should have done instead of saying all you uh, meat eaters are fucking assholes. Don't even bother commenting on my video. I want nothing to do with you. Furthermore, I want you to comment on my video. I want you to download my video. Use my video for whatever you want it to be. There's a right way to promote veganism. There's a wrong way to promote veganism. The, now, Kangaroo Lane, once again, I love her channel. Because guess where that, that link that, that I got? I got that link from one of her videos. In her videos, she's always posting articles about things that she's finding out about. Here's another video that she did. She did a video about pamphleting. She'll go down uh, maybe a couple times a month and she'll pass out literature talking about the same type of thing that I was just talking about right here. Talking about the, uh, the diseases that are in meat and also the, the dietary benefits to being veganism. And although she doesn't convert a lot of people, she does convert some. And for people that want to uh, save the animals, as many animals as they can, uh, if they want to like bring an end to the meat industry, that's a great way to do it. Instead of you know saying you're a meat eater, you're a bad person. No, it, it you 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 want to convince somebody that me eating meat is is not healthy, and that is what you should have done. So sorry for the long video. Leave a comment below. I am the Happy Cabbie, and you can also. Uh, stay tuned for my diet updates on my other channel, which is called The Healthy Channel. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.